All right, so I was planning on doing a video that uh, kind of went down the, the pluses and minuses of the KSG, because uh, it's a pretty cool little shotgun for the small package and the amount the, uh, of ammo that it can carry around. Uh, so while I was doing that, I was dry firing, getting ready uh, to do like a cool action video, but um, what I ran into was uh, some pretty alarming stuff uh, when I was going to uh, emergency reload. And uh, it was an alarming enough to just stop what I was doing and rethink things. Um, so one of the things I ran across while uh, reloading was, so the thing about this is the mouth is back here where it's hard to get to, unlike some of the other shotguns where it's easy to get to, and you can't really look in, look your reload into. Uh, so you can turn it upside down here and go for the reload, go for the reload. But uh, what I was doing when I was loading the chamber directly, it held up on the elevator and it, it wouldn't go in. So when I looked at it more closely, uh, the extractor that's on the bottom of the bolt going forward, and I'll, I'll show you a little picture of what I took here. Um, it hung up and it was aligned exactly where the primer was. So if that was a live round, <clears throat> and I haven't heard of this happening, but that's one time while it was under dry fire uh, is alarming enough to rethink the whole process of reloading this thing. So what I was doing was reloading right into the chamber and going back into shooting. And the trick with the KSG is it, it doesn't really allow you, when, if you're all the way back, the elevator's in the way to in order to get that. So you have to at least pull it a little bit forward the elevator will go up, accessing the chamber, or upon um, realizing you're empty, only pull it back halfway, then go into it, and then you can reload it. So, under stress, I was going under the stress of a timer, seeing what, what I can do as opposed to the other shotguns, which can load per, uh, a lot faster. Um, I was at a constant like 2.7 seconds for a chamber reload from shot to shot. Uh, so I wanted to smooth that out and get in there because I was racing the clock um, trying to get in there because you have to fiddle faddle this back and forth like a trombone to get it in there. Um, so, but on one of the times I was uh, doing that, it hung up on the elevator and was aligned, <laughs> it was aligned perfectly for the primer, which is bad. That'd be like a grenade going off because of where it's only stuck in here so far. I mean that, if you can see that on here, uh, that's like a little grenade shooting out of here. Uh, what, what's under there, you ask? Well, your arm is under there. Uh, I believe it, this wouldn't fare too well with an explosion out of battery. It's enough to rethink my practice and training uh, in order to bypass that issue altogether because that is beyond bad. Uh, this is why dry fire is so darn important uh, because you discover things like this uh, instead of discovering them on the range with, with live rounds. Uh, having an out of battery ignition, especially in something like this, where it's just the, the port is just aimed at you, uh, that would be a bad experience. Um, so that's why dry fire is so darn important. Um, you know, I like to, when I acquire a, a weapon of any sort, any sort, um, I definitely put it through its dry fire. Um, that way you discover things like that. Uh, like carrying appendix, for instance. Um, when you uh, 
you get your appendix holster, everybody says, hey, you're going to shoot your mushroom tip off, kid. Uh, well, that is possible. Uh, some people, you know, have clothes. Some people have clothes in the way when they reholster. Uh, when you practice, do a thousand, at least a thousand dry draws, and that way when you present, you're always safe because this will tell you, um, you know, if I got caught in the, uh, my pants or clothing um, and you hear that sound, hey, I need to rethink what the hell I'm doing because I, I could just make a mess in my pants and not the good kind. <laughs> All right, so that's that's why dry fire is so darn important. So uh, get out there and keep doing it. Uh, don't be afraid to do that before you carry anything on the street. You can't just go out and to the store, hey, buy a weapon. Hey, I'm 100% uh, covered in any situation. No, you could actually injure yourself more than you could an assailant. So think about that. All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if uh, you have any interest in learning some of the cool things about the KSG. Uh, there's enough cool things in here to keep it viable for a defensive tool, just not as good as some of the other things. Thank you, and God bless. There's a damn chipmunk. Get the hell out of here. Uh, so. It, it's enough to rethink my practice and training uh, in order to bypass that issue altogether.